What's up, everybody? Thanks for checking out Hunt You Live. Got a, another pretty inexpensive night vision device for you guys today. These are the GT Media N4 day and night vision binoculars. So I'm going to give you the overview of these. I'm also going to show you some detailed footage from the field filmed from these. These are recordable binoculars. And then uh, we'll talk about my final assessment. Of these bad boys then but first let's uh, do a little bit of an unboxing I had not been familiar with GT media this is my first experience with them so I had no idea what to expect though I have done some other reviews of some night vision products that are similarly within this price range now these look really cool to show them to you already out of the box um, very compact super lightweight uh, they're just very lightweight plastic, so I'm not sure about the durability. Not that you would ever want to just be dropping your night vision equipment, but uh, it feels light enough that you probably would not want to try to you know, make sure you didn't drop that, protect it very good. We'll, we'll talk more specifically about that in a minute, but it comes in this box. And uh, I will say that GT Media has several other night vision offerings in addition to this one, uh, a monocular uh, as well as this binocular. So when you open it up, you've got a nice little zipping carry case. We'll look at that in a second. Of course, you've got your instructions in there. You've got your cable if you wanted to hook this directly into your computer. Um, that is the, I think that's the S-Type connection on the end of that. Um, got a card reader that they include because this takes a micro SD card. Of course, it comes with the a lens cleaning cloth as well. Now within the zip open carry case uh, it contains uh, an additional pouch if you wanted to slip the unit into that for some additional protection or maybe just carry it in that. Uh, they've got this headband. Now I will say uh, I tried this out and it just it attaches to the top right here. You unscrew that piece, slide this on, screw it back down and then it, it goes on to your head. Uh, that was not practical, not practical at all. This unit weighs enough that it really wants to pull it down constantly. Uh, and also, this is five times magnification. So unless you're walking around out in a huge, massive, wide open field, this is not conducive to, to having a, a, a head mounted system on. You don't want five by magnification all the time if you're trying to do close quarters navigation in the dark with something like this. So very impractical, it weighed it down and I, I would not personally want to use that. Mainly because of the, uh, which we'll talk about quality and all that here shortly, but mainly just because of that five times magnification. I often say that a lot of these people, which I know they're not producing these specifically for hunting related purposes, but I think a lot of these companies make these things and don't use them. They have no idea of, of actually getting it out and using them. And anything that starts with these high magnifications at nighttime is almost useless in my opinion because you, at night it's hard to see distance anyway. And when you're trying to look at things close up, like inside 50 yards, for sure, five by magnification, man, is just like it's right in your face. So you could not walk around with these things unless you were in just a wide open, massive field. This would not be for trying to walk around in the woods at night or something like that. You'd be tripping over everything just because of that magnification. So a little bit of a gripe there. Comes with the strap also if you wanted to uh, hook it up and um, put the strap on it like a, a neck harness. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it. The, uh, as far as the internal functionality of the unit, it's got all the buttons on the top of it. Very easy to navigate through those buttons, turn it on and off there. You uh, switch through your, your picture mode um, or your video mode. You can take pictures and videos with this, either one. And uh, these that starts the video or takes the picture. And then the, the last two controls are up and down on the infrared light within this thing. It has seven different infrared light settings. And we'll cycle through that whenever I'm showing you guys the field, uh, field footage of this. As far as the internal menu items, it was pretty easy to navigate. You got your typical like, you know, time and date function. 
um, a format for your memory card, auto, on and off. You can set the brightness, the resolution, the frequency, and then like a screen save mode. Really easy, really intuitive system to jump into and, uh, and navigate, and even the button controls on top. Now you've also got uh, some focus. you got a focus ring on either side that you can use to focus both eyes in right, and then you've got kind of like a, a, a zoom focus depending on the distance of the target that you're looking at on the front end of this thing. The internal screen that you're looking at uh, is actually pretty nice. I, I found no problem with the size of the screen at all. When you look into it, you're seeing one screen and it's about an inch and a half, uh, 320 by 320 HD. This has a built-in lithium ion battery, so to charge it up, uh, you would hook it into your computer with that uh, first cable that I showed you guys. You would hook that in, and uh, of course you, do, you don't have to hook it into your computer. It has like a, one of those really common USB type ports, so you can plug it into the wall if you had the adapter for that and charge it up. Uh, it came fully charged, and actually I used it quite a bit in the field and didn't have any problems, so battery seems to be fairly reliable. Um, uh, frames per second, uh, 1920 to 1080 uh, at 30 frames per second, or you can set it at uh, 1280 by 720 at 30 frames per second. It, they advertise this as being uh, waterproof. They advertise it as being capable of seeing up to 300 meters in the dark. And it also is tripod mountable, which definitely makes much more sense than the trying to mount this on your head and walk around with it. Now, let me show you some footage from the field and talk about my impressions of the GT Media N4 night vision binos. Now, as far as daytime, these things are very poor quality. If you are specifically just wanting to record something in the day, your money would be better invested in a camera, in a camcorder. Uh, really your phone. Your phone is going to zoom and do just as good as this thing as far as the zoom capability and it's going to be 1,000 times better quality. The quality of this was not great at all, uh, which I, that was not really shocking. It's not really made for day. I think the, the selling point of this is it's a night vision binocular, but you can use it during the day. Just don't turn the IR on and uh, it, you can use it in the day. Not with terrible quality though. And of course you're stuck on that five times zoom so you can see things off pretty far, uh, but anything up close is like you're just right in on it. So I don't like the fact, again, that it's just stuck at five, five by zoom. Now nighttime, I did notice that when it was just kind of dusk or as the sun was still setting, you could see things out to around that 300 meters or even, uh, of course I'm used to using yards and a lot of the yardages that I know from that place where I was filming, you were, I was seeing things out to 400 and 500 yards. Even I had a deer, I think. Now I only knew for sure that it was a deer because I had watched that very same deer with a set of binoculars before it got dark. Uh, through this, it just looked like some sort of living creature standing there. So, quality of, of image, no good, not good. But you could at least see that there was something there living. Now, once it got fully dark though, these things were no good at all. If, if you are wanting to try to see from 50 yards and in at nighttime, these are going to be cool. Cool little novelty. You're going to be able to do it. The problem, though, is they are not just zero magnification or one by. They are five by magnification. So everything at 50 yards is like in your face. So it's very difficult to, 
to, to see individual things that close. And that's about the extent of the clarity range. You can see uh, this footage. Uh, well, let me be quiet and, and walk. Let, let you see me walking you through some of the different ranges here on this. You know, some of that, like uh, some of those last deer that I was trying to look at there when it was pitch black, those were probably 150 yards away, no more than 200 yards away. And it's just, you could tell that there was something standing there, but it was just, man, you could not get that focus to focus in good enough. It was just blur. So, uh, you know, in the range that you would want these to be able to work, 200 yards around that range, because of the five by zoom, the clarity was just not there. The, the capability was not there. And I didn't try an external IR light just because of the quality. You know, it doesn't matter if you're throwing more infrared light on the thing, you're just gonna have a brighter, really fuzzy, not clear picture. So, uh, you know, can I recommend these? Not really, no, I can't. Maybe if they were not five by zoom, I could say, you know, these might be some super entry level that you could use at 50 yards and closer and or buy them for your kid and your kid might have fun with them playing outside or something. But, you know, for any real uh, hunting purposes or, or um, walking around in the woods at night or something, like you're, I couldn't recommend them. I cannot recommend them. Uh, too much zoom for the walking in close and not enough clarity, not enough quality of image to see anything at distance when it's nighttime. So GT Media, uh, N4 binos, I, I, I can't recommend them. I was not impressed with them. They look cool and they're very lightweight. I was super optimistic, but I did not like them. They are just not quality at all. So sorry, GT Media. Uh, maybe you guys can take that feedback and do a little bit better. Um, with that in the future. There are some other companies that I've done reviews on that are in the $500 range that uh, just absolutely blow the crap out of any other thing that I have seen. They're, they're comparable to like $2,000 ones. You know, these are nowhere near even that. And uh, so there's just lots of better options out there as opposed to these. So you guys check out the rest of my channel, all my other playlists, all my other reviews, some other Envy stuff, lots of gun reviews, shooting reviews and things, hunts, got all kinds of stuff on the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. As always, I appreciate you. God bless you. We'll catch you next time.